Hey guys, Chris here, and this is a review on the Nub Cameroon 358 cigar. And as you can see, it's a pretty small cigar. It's four inches by a 58 ring gauge. Nubs are usually 60 ring gauge. And yeah, these are little short, stocky cigars. This one seems to be really well tight packed. Uh, the wrapper is from Cameroon, but the uh, binder and filler are from Nicaragua. Very, very, very stiff packing in here. Little hints of veins throughout the leaves, but nothing bad at all. Looks pretty clean in general. Darkish brown wrapper, pretty smooth actually. It smells pretty sweet. Um, more of the sweet, slight peat kind of hint. Not quite earthy, but yes, yeah, just a general good sweet smell. None too specific there, though. It's um, at least there's a decent bit of smell in this. At least it's not you know completely tasteless. So I'm gonna use a V cutter on this one since I feel like it today. Could be using the punch, but. And it looks like it fits okay. Maybe it doesn't. There we go. Decent enough little cut. Oh, lots of airflow coming in through that. Stiff packing, but no, doesn't seem to be um, stopping airflow at all. Uh, quite a rich sweetness. There's definitely some rich tobacco in there. Um, I'm going to go with a medium bodied scar, like the taste in notes seem to say. Yeah, it seems definitely middle of the road earth. Sort of that kind of taste, but you never really know until you actually try it. So, usual way I like cigars, I like to explain this every time. Just keep turning it. Aiming straight, roughly around the middle, make sure the main base of it gets lit. Then work your way slowly around the side. Just get a little bit, maybe a millimeter or two burning just on the side. Then back to the center, and now it should all be all be glowing red, no problems. Blowing on it a little bit helps. Then take a puff while holding the layer to it. Lots of air coming in through this, so. Uh, Gotta make sure I start the stopwatch this time. There we go. Feels pretty nice in the hand. Yeah, I, I quite like this actually. Um, decent enough burn, I would say. First impressions, lots of air coming through this. Feels like maybe tobacco's burning a little bit too fast. Lots of cool air is going right through there. Kind of like a rich nutty taste. A little bit of flavorful spice in there. I mean, it's not like, um, again, it's not the very full body scar kind of spice. It's um, definitely enough of it in there, but you know, it's good flavor. Definitely adds to the scar quite a bit. I would say it's definitely quite rich on the um, on the nutty side. I would say.
I would say maybe a little bit. A little bit woody. Yeah, a little bit of a wood taste, but predominantly nineness with a little edge of spice. I would probably say that's that sums up this starting feet puffs a little bit well. Burn on this seems to be starting pretty nicely. Uh, you can't see that too well and it's not focusing too great. But um, that's pretty white. Looks like it's burning quite well. Nothing going off too badly. Predominantly nutty though. That's pretty rich. There's a lot of air going through that, so um, that can definitely make a scar feel a bit less rich, I would guess. Maybe a lower caliber body. Probably maybe a little bit lower bodied. Maybe, I don't know, maybe if this one was a little bit tighter, it'd feel a bit more towards full bodied. But I would say this is probably medium bodied. It's pretty nice so far. It's um, getting off to quite a good start. Now I'm just going to, while I'm at it, show the Seagars page. I usually tend to do this at the end, but I'm going to do it at the start for now. One review, five star review, of course you can't always go on one review. But, you know, it's a little bit of an indication. So, £11. For a little scar, it is quite expensive, considering something like the Chinchalro novellas cost like nothing. But most of those tend to be quite bad, like really bad. So, um, yeah, I have another one of those to try, but I'm not going to recommend it until... But it's the Fuerte Maduro one, so maybe that's got some taste, might compare to this one. So, if you uh, stay tuned and watch that review, maybe this one has a good price comparison, but we'll have to see. Not much on it. Length 4, ring gauge 58, Cameroon wrapper, full iron binder, Nick Wagwan, medium body. So, also, uh, I just read coffee notes. I'm not getting too much of those right now. I wouldn't say much more of a hint than just any other cigar. It's just a general kind of uh, that general kind of taste you tend to get with most cigars. But there's nothing too predominant in this. So, um, sorry, I'm looking over there. I've got my camera set up over there. Um, yeah, I'll have to get back to you on the next segment of this video. Probably just a little bit down the line. Hopefully we get it before the ash falls off. If this is a strong ash, I'd be pretty surprised. But hopefully everything goes good. So see you in the next section. So far, enjoying it. So we are back with the um, Cameroon nub. It looks pretty nice. I will give it that. The, um, the flavor is getting a little bit on the slightly stronger side. It's definitely firmly setting its place in the medium body. The ash is holding on pretty well, it's going pretty well. I'm not sure you quite see the shade of that, but uh, that's pretty white. I think it's probably the curtains back there throwing off the white balance. Also the lights in this room are pretty, um, pretty yellow. Taste-wise, More spice in there. That's pretty much it. It's getting quite, uh, quite strong nutty taste in there. That's very good. Try not to over smoke this while I give the taste test. That's sort of one of the difficult things about reviewing cigars. You tend to when not recording, sit and smoke them normally. But when you're talking about the taste, to get every single taste, you tend to, you know, like, pick them as you smoke them, so you have to give it a good few puffs. And that could add a little bit of burning. It's a pretty strong night taste. Pepsi Max Cherry. Except it's not in the can this time. I started to get more bottles of it, but I've also been getting Coca-Cola Cherry. Pepsi Max is our rival. I would say the draw is probably cut down a little bit. 
Maybe because of the ash. Pretty um pretty strong night taste. Uh, a little bit of spice. Maybe a little bit woody. Bit on earth, but the uh, original sort of PE smell or smell when I um started. That's not there anymore. The uh, plug seems relatively strong, nothing's falling apart there so far, no bits in my mouth or anything. Definitely firmly medium body. Um, it's quite far from light, but it's not a full body scar. It's the, it's the very enjoyable sort of middle of the road where you're getting a lot of flavour, but you're not getting an overpowering cigar. Time-wise, we are 18 minutes. If this lasts about 45 minutes, I would be, I would say that's, you know, that sounds about right for this size of scar. If it lasts an hour, that's great. Hopefully it lasts a decent amount of time. So that's just an update on the flavours. I'll get back to you in the next segment. We'll probably be close to the band by then. So, um... Back to the video segment, we are getting close to the band, so I'm going to take the band off. This is 32 minutes in, and the ash is still holding on pretty strong. There's a few little inconsistencies in the burn. None too drastic, that was one, but it's burned away. Slowly twist this off. The actual scar itself is getting pretty hot. I would imagine this is burning pretty, you know... The actual cherry the scars burned a little bit deeper. And this has gotten stuck on something. There we go. Not bad, it didn't rip half the scar part taken off. Seems to be going pretty good so far. So, 32 minutes in. Still very enjoyable. Puffing on this a little bit hard recently, I would say. So it's probably going to taste a little bit spicier, a little bit more burn than it would have if I was leaving it quite a bit more. But of course, this is a review where I do have to smoke it a little bit faster than I usually would. The ash is going very good, it's still holding on. It's probably about half of it is ash right now. This is probably looking at about a 50 minute cigar now. Just going by the times, but you know, that could change, like give or take 10 minutes maybe. Well, I mean, it's definitely got more than 5 minutes, but probably 50 minutes could be up to an hour. Might even last longer. Flavor-wise, let's give it a second. Large night aftertaste. Definitely a um, heavy, sort of a blend of earthy and woody sort of taste up front taking up the main of your taste but the main thing you notice is quite a nice sweet nightiness at the, you know at the medium of the palate and that seems to be lingering pre uh, pretty nicely definitely a little bit of spice you can taste it all over this is um a pretty nice medium bodied scar Yeah, that all over spice is definitely you know a good indication of its flavor but yeah that nice no, that that's um really pleasant just thought i'd also note this is a cigar i was recommended so if you have any recommendations then let me know i'll probably get to reviewing them sometime uh, just whenever i make cigar orders i tend to prioritize and uh, prioritize recommendations I usually just get a few cigars that I want to get myself and then the rest just recommendations. So if you have any you would like me to review, just let me know. Just put that down. It's sort of difficult to balance it on the ashtray with the uh, ash being a decent amount bigger than the actual cigar itself. But there you go. So, yeah, so far getting very pleasant the band is pretty nice 
some gold stripes, white stripes, blue stripes. Pretty simple. I kind of like that band. Nice addition to the collection. So, yeah, we'll get into the next clip and I'll probably be a bit more towards the end, maybe even the end. So, I'll see you then. So, we are just gone over an hour in. And this is going to be the last segment on the cigar, probably another 5-10 minutes in. What it is right now is, I would say it's kind of spicy mess, but that's mostly just my fault. Um, don't know if you quite see that, but that's probably my cup. I will give the cigar credit for that. It was a good quality constructed cigar. Should have gone for the punch cup. Taste-wise, flavorful spice. Hence of coffee. There was something in there I just tasted, but I can't quite put a name on it. Yeah, a little hints of coffee, but still, I would say this is mostly a nice cigar. Little bits of wood, some earth, as you know, as you would expect. Usual stuff. Definitely, um, started off lighter, got a lot darker as I went through, decent amount. Probably towards the, I'd probably say gets more towards the medium full range near the end. It's mostly it's mostly spice once you get to this point. But yeah, it's been a good hour. Probably another 10 minutes left on this, so I'm just going to end the review here enjoy the rest of this. Uh, very enjoyable. £11, probably worth it. It's a small looking cigar, but it does actually have the, you know, it does, you know, compare to a lot of much bigger cigars. Time-wise, taste-wise, you wouldn't think this is just a little nub like it was. This is the small cigar I got in my last order, and I can't believe how tiny it was. But, yeah, this is very good. Uh, pretty good, at least. Rather enjoyable. Good amount of time. Decent enough value. I mean, you are paying a lot of money for a small cigar, but you do actually get the quality with it. Well constructed. Yeah, I'll give this a good high rating. So, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page, leave a like, whatever, the usual stuff. I run a lot of giveaways there. I just ended one. Congratulations to those winners, by the way. And I'm going to probably be doing another one soon. I've already got the prize planned out, and it's probably the biggest so far. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching my review, and goodbye.